Hey guys, I'm here, yeah, back with another video and today with a tablet that has almost the same level of performance that the Mi Pad 3 has, the same build quality but only half of the price. So here we are with the Alpha Wise tab and guys looking at it and looking at the Mi Pad 3 that I've got right over here it's really really close to it. Now we are going to check a few differences here right on the review but starting with the design what I can say is that if we look at one and if we look at the other one at the back really really similar. The build quality is the same. If I close my eyes I can't say which one is which and the Alpha Wise one has the logo right over here while the Xiaomi has the logo right over here but other than that the build quality is almost the same size wise the Mi Pad is and I just started a game right over here the Mi Pad is a little bit smaller as you guys can see but it's not a big difference one other thing that I prefer on the Mi Pad is actually the bezels that are completely black while we have white bezels over here and one of the things that I would like to show you guys is that although they have almost the same screen resolution wise is the same but in terms of the screen itself one of the things that we can notice on a white bezel is the black frame which is very small only one or two millimeters as you guys may have the chance to see right over there but if we have black bezels like we do right over here even having the same we will not notice and this is one of the differences of having black bezels or white but in terms of design in terms of looks I do believe that one or the other is just a matter of taste and of course the price tag really matters because it's half of the price of the Mi Pad 3. Now still on the screen it has a retina display with a resolution of 2000 1048 by 1536 and in terms of specifications guys they are really close the alpha wise tab is running the mediatek 8173 and the mi pad 3 is running the mediatek 8176 for those that are not geek bench geeks it just means that the mi pad still has an advantage in terms of the overall score but if we compare one to another the alpha wise can achieve almost everything that the mi pad 3 can. Now in terms of real world performance I had a great experience with one exception only
that exception was indeed in terms of game streaming, which is one of the things that I do love. Now, I do believe that this might be one of two things, either firmware or the network, because on the benchmarks, as you guys may have the chance to see, my network speed was only at maximum of 80 megabits per second here on the Alpha Wise, while on the Mi Pad, we had the maximum of 200 megabits per second, which is a maximum of my network. And this leads me to a doubt. I'm not really sure if it's the firmware of the Alpha Wise tab or if it's any kind of limitation on the Wi Fi. On one hand, I had really great results playing Kodi, Plex, all my content 1080 without any issues at all. On the other hand, game stream did not work and I did try the Steam Link better app and also the Kino console with really awful results. So for those of you that are looking for a game streaming machine, probably the Alpha Wise is not the best option at this moment. And in terms of sound volume and sound quality, both of these tablets are on par. I wouldn't say that it's great, none of them, and I wouldn't say that it's bad. They are loud enough and the sound is always a bit flat on any tablet or phone, but are okay. And if I compare this one, which is half of the price of the Mi Pad 3, the sound is the same, so I can't complain at all. Now, moving to the battery, what I can say is that it lasts quite a good time with intensive tasks. I would say that we can go up to four to five hours. If we are only browsing and watching videos, then almost the whole day without any issues at all. And one thing that I do love on any mobile device is that it holds the battery really good. If I leave it for a couple of days, it will hold the battery without discharging, which sometimes we find this problem on cheaper tablets, and it's not the case of the Alpha Wise tab. So in conclusion, guys, the overall experience with the Alpha Wise tab is very positive. The only issue that I had was with GameStream. If GameStream is something serious for you, then I would consider other tablet like the Mi Pad 3. But if you don't care about GameStream, then the Alpha Wise tab is a good or a great option to consider instead of a Mi Pad 3. Don't forget that this one is running pure Android while the Mi Pad 3 is running MIUI. So this is another choice, personal preferences and so on and so forth. If you still have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will answer as fast and as best as I can as always. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.